Now, CBS 46 is advocating for concerned parents in one local school district who are so worried about a TB scare. The TB turned up in the Floyd County School District near Rome. Health officials confirming two cases of tuberculosis at two elementary schools. CBS 46's Adam Murphy is live at the Board of Education with the very latest on this one. Adam? Sharon, school officials tell me the health department informed them yesterday afternoon about these confirmed TB cases and they took immediate action. They're trying to determine at this point in time what the potential exposure is. But as you might imagine, many parents are freaked out. Oh my God, let me go and get my kids. <laughs> that was June Kent's reaction when she found out that there was an active case of tuberculosis at her children's school. It's very concerning because this is what I know about children, especially on the elementary level. They share everything. They share drinks, they share coats, they share spit. <laughs> Health officials confirmed one case of TB at Model Elementary School and the other at Johnson Elementary School. I want us to be cautious, but not afraid. Well, Superintendent Dr. Jeff Wilson said they performed a thorough cleaning of both schools Wednesday night as a precaution and that the confirmed TB cases are being treated at home and do not present a danger to others. Both schools are safe. They've both been completely clean and the active threat is no longer present. So um, whatever it was, it's gone. According to the CDC, TB is caused by germs that are spread from person to person through the air typically from coughing or sneezing. We're going to take care of our kids, that's first and foremost, and um, we just hate that it happened. The disease usually affects the lungs, but can also affect other parts of the body, such as the brain, kidneys, or spine. A person with TB can die if they do not get treatment. This is why Kent took her two kids out of school Thursday. I just feel safer, you know, them being at home, me being able to watch them. So if there are any symptoms or anything that I can see it, School officials sent home letters like this to parents with more information about screenings that will be at the schools next week so that students can be tested and, of course, clear their mind if they feel that there is any concern there. But again, officials telling me they insist there is no threat. We're live at the Floyd County Board of Education tonight. Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News. Adam, thank you. Now, we did check in with the Atlanta-based CDC for more information on tuberculosis. We found there were nearly 300 cases of TB in Georgia back in 2017. Now, we're going in depth. We'll take a closer look at the symptoms of TB, a bad cough, one that lasts for three weeks or longer, pain in the chest, coughing up blood, weakness or fatigue. All of those are things to watch out for.